Hello, welcome to a new The Mandalorian Reaction. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the fifth episode from season three. Before I start, I want to tell you a bit about my graduation project. I am making a horror movie right now. I just like almost finished the script and I am starting with looking for locations now, looking for actors, that kind of stuff. And right now I am trying to collect some budget for that. So I made a GoFundMe. So yeah, I put the link in the description and it's probably also somewhere here. And yeah, all the money I raise with the GoFundMe, they will go to the production of this film. And if you donate, you will also get a place in the end credits. So uh, yeah, if you want to support my work and if you can spare anything and you want to help me make this movie, that would be really nice. Um, so like I said, link is in the description. I would really appreciate it. And also if you can't miss anything, I would also really appreciate it to like share the link and stuff like that so more people see it uh, because I'm super excited to make this movie. And uh, yeah, you can also read a bit on the page uh, what the movie is gonna be about. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. And probably in a few months you will also be able to see it. So yeah, with that said, let's um, get to the Mandalorian. In the last episode, uh, we saw that Grogu had like major PTSD oh my god i felt so bad my heart couldn't take it like this little guy and he's just so traumatized and it was so sad we also saw that they uh went to rescue this uh mandalorian kid from uh i don't know what it was it was some kind of bird flying bird look kind of looked like a dragon and then in the end they also the three babies they said they were foundlings too now so um yeah i don't know if we're gonna see anything about that again because i think that was just kind of a filler episode because honestly i had fun watching it but it felt like it was just a separate story from the full story you know what i mean but yeah i'm excited to see what's going to happen in this one oh, and i also want to tell you that my full reaction to this episode is available on my patreon the link is also in the description and yeah with that said let's watch it oh we're back here yeah i saw in the previously on a part about where you shot the pirates so I feel like these people are just being like, yeah, sure, you're right, you're always right. I'm not even thinking for themselves. Are the pirates back? Yeah, I knew they weren't just gonna accept what happened. Oh, it's him, the big boss. Pampered nobleman dressed for the pomp of his wedding feast. My hospitality for weakness. Is that what you call gunning down my helmsman in cold blood? They had it coming. He shot first. Well, mm. I feel like they're making so many like references to like original movies because last week they also made the or like not last week the week before they also made the it's a trap reference don't hail me again unless it's to surrender oh so they're ready to take over uh you're just bombing the fucking city I won't abandon my city. No, I mean people are dying in the streets. What the fuck? The pirates. <laughs> the music was so piratey. Ah, nice beach. Oh, very tropical. Oh, this is a resistance base. <laughs> that is so wild to me. Attacked by a pirate King Dorian Shark. I'm afraid that our planet will fall and Shark will turn this into a pirate base. I really thought that Laura was gonna make it. And for this decor assault. Then I'm just gonna have to go there and ignore me face to face. I love your attitude. Honestly, this is me. I would rather go somewhere and ask them face to face because then there's a way like less chance they will reject you. But calling, I will not call anyone. Oh, I knew this storyline was gonna be bad. Also, I know it's not called a resistance base anymore because the empire is gone, but just New Republic then, I guess? You, Scoot. Excuse me, Colonel. I'm going down to the commissary. Can I get you anything? Thank you. I'm fine. I hate her so much. They have yet to sign the charter. Files requests from member worlds that have priority. I don't even know if we have the resources. Especially they are dying. Citizens speak of Moff Gideon occupying the town, and now Pirate King is attempting the same thing? These events could all be connected. Because I'm hearing Moff Gideon never made it to trial. Captain, you're out of line. It's fine. I'm used to that kind of talk. 
you and your sword didn't see the light. In any event, thank you, Captain, for bringing this to our attention. Just her whole attitude is just like she's such an ass licker and she's doing everything just to like get better from it herself. At first, I was still like, okay, sure, but ever since since she did that to the guy, I'm like, I fucking hate you. It'll be too late. What is she gonna do? So they just fled to like a random place now. That is so sad because they had such a thriving city. And I feel like so many dives. What I am wondering about is are we still gonna see like Din and Grogu this episode? Because I'm not really waiting for a full on episode without them again. Like I'm interested to see where this whole storyline is going and how it's all gonna connect. But give me the reason I'm watching this show please. Is he just coming there on his own now? Yeah. Doesn't have much choice to be honest. No one wants to help him. I really love seeing all the different colors of droids. Where are they? Captain Carson Tampa. Are they all vibing inside? Ah, oh, okay. New Republic isn't welcome here. Oh. How did you manage to find us? There he we is. We pride ourselves on our secrecy. Someone I served with in a rebellion is amongst your ranks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, R5. <laughs> I was like. Which one of them? But I mean, um, Din helped the, what is it, mayor of that town. So when he sees the message, I think he might want to help. I just came to tell you your friend is in danger. And I thought you should know. Good music. Sorry, He is gonna help. Also, I didn't really expect for Din and bo to stay there for the whole season so because Honestly, what kind of storyline would that be? I gotta help the guy. See? You can't do it alone. So go with him. No, Even better. No that do oh, all of them. He risked his life to save mine, well as the foundling in my charge. <laughs> there he is. Perhaps it is time for us to live in the light once again. On a planet where we are welcome. Now our children can feel what it is to play in the sunlight. <laughs> And then they show Grogu, the cutest child of all. He does have a point. Does anyone else wish to speak? I do. I saw many die to save the life of this one tiny foundling. And now we are asked to sacrifice yet again. Why should we lay our lives down yet again? Because we are Mandalorians! Oh, okay. At first I was like, okay, he doesn't want to do it, but... He risked his life to save my son. Bo-Katan <laughs> did not give up on my child's life, and Eagle and the rest of us did. And I, for one, will take up arms to fight by their side. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. The N1 will distract the Corsair and her snub fighters as you drop in. You lived there once, hiding in the sewers, but now you can be heroes. Yeah, I mean, how nice would it be if they could actually live somewhere again, instead of hiding in a fucking cave? Because that's basically what they've been doing for now. Oh, poor guy. Oh, I feel really bad for the people who, like, got left behind. Then you're really fucked. Oh no. We all recognize that sound. It's so sad because the town looked so nice and now it's just ugly and destroyed. It's the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. The You're not gonna get him. Not last time, not this time. All of you to return, Mandalorian. Thanks for your help, Mando. Decided to take you up on your offer for a tract of land. Be careful, my friend. They got you outnumbered ten to one. I like those odds. I bet you do. Close to drop point. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! This is gonna be epic. And now they're all drunk, so easy to defeat. Oh, those guys! I feel like these pirates barely stand a chance against that many Mandalorians. The ship, Captain. All to the top of the time. We're pursuing the Mandalorian. Then bring them back. That's funny. It's a decoy. It's a secondary attack. 
Boys, Mandalorians. I feel like it's not gonna be that easy. There still has to be something that's gonna happen. Oh, he's helping them. Okay, hell yeah. Some fireworks. Oh, what is that? I don't like the look of this. Uh, uh, see, that's what I meant. They gotta have some comeback. Yeah, now they're all returning. Get them, Boca Dan. He's above you. He's below you. <laughs> Can't get him. I love that. That is so in character for her to use those things now. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> All clear. Advance. Get them. Whoa. Just surfing. I really still feel like this is so Pirates of the Caribbean because you have like the big boss and he kind of looks like Barbosa. And then there's the tiny guy who's kind of like the help, but they all like, yeah, they're kind of above him. He's kind of clumsy, you know? He's targeting the townspeople. Oh, oh look at Grogu. Oh, at this point, just take your fucking defeat. You have lost. Accept it. Is this gonna crash right into town? Behind the town, okay. Nice. <laughs> you know, that's what I really love about the Mandalorian. Like the fights, they're good, they're short, they're powerful. You know what I really hate? Those kind of Marvel fights where you're just look looking at a fight for like 45 minutes. And I'm like, no, it's not interesting anymore. And this is just like a good 10 minutes, nice fights, perfect. Reef Cargo. Hi, Magistrate. <laughs> Hi, Magistrate. Western Lava Flats to Bullock Canyon. To the fine people of Mandalore. You may no longer nice. have a home planet. But you do now have a home. Welcome. <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> welcome, welcome, and thank you. It was just the way he said that, like, you may not have a home planet anymore but you do have a home and it was like I love that for them oh that doesn't sound too good but every time Bo-Katan has been there and we were like oh this is not gonna be good they were like again you did something and it's like the best thing ever and yeah Bo-Katan just unintentionally does really good things here but I don't know about this time or is this about the what's it called the beast she saw maybe she believes her now Forge of Alcova. I have been to the Great Forge on Mandalore. The air rang with the music of a hundred hammers. Remove your helmet. What? Why? Remove your helmet. D does she have to go back to Mandalore then? <laughs> to go into the water again? No, right? Mm -hmm. Why is she doing this? I'm confused. Our people have strayed from the way. We must walk it together. We must walk the way together. Oh, Mandalorian. What is it she's saying? I understand. The oh yeah, the myth is sure. only in legends. You saw it. It is a sign that the next age is upon us. Mandalore must all come together. You have walked both worlds. You are the one who can unite us. Oh. I wonder why she suddenly believes her now though. Maybe she just had some good thinking. But that's interesting. <laughs> just chilling. It's kind of awkward. Okatan Kreez is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us. But she shows her face. Okatan walks both worlds. 
bring all tribes together. <laughs> Show Grogu like he understands. <laughs> Damn, okay. That is pretty interesting. It is time to retake Mandalore. Nice. Oh, there's more. I really thought it was over, but luckily there's more. I don't know if it's a good thing though. It seems like a bad thing. Oh, that is a bad thing. Oh, it's not in use anymore? It's just floating there? Any reports in the area? There's a record of a missing craft in the region. It's kind of creepy. I wonder what we're going to see. There is a person. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. <gasps> I knew it. He never made it to trial. Moff Gideon's body is missing. Of course. Honestly, up to now I had been wondering like what happened to this guy. I knew he left or something. But this is why they like weren't very like obvious about it in the recaps. Because no one knew. It's a fragment of Beskar Alloy. Are you saying that Moff Gideon was taken by Mandalorians? What the fuck? Okay, confused. That is pretty random, but I kind of feel like my first thought right now is that this has something to do with the Mandalorians Bo-Katan is going to find. Because she's gonna look for more Mandalorians in exile now, because they want to reunite them all and she walks both ways now. It's kind of cool. I'm still kind of wondering why she suddenly believes Bo-Katan about seeing the Mythosaur. But I mean, sure. I think it would be really nice if like all the Mandalorians would just reunite and then both ways would be possible to be honest. Also something I have been thinking about last week after last week's episode. Um, you really see that they want to like make Grogu a Mandalorian because he's a foundling of course. But what I was thinking like honestly it would be so cute to see him have a helmet and see the little ears like stick out you know. But at the same time I'm like I don't want to give up on Grogu's cute face. Like then we're never gonna see Grogu again. And I was just thinking like I don't think they would do that because honestly Grogu is kind of the face of this show. I feel like they wouldn't just waste that, you know, and just give him a helmet and be like, okay, you're a full on Mandalorian now. So I really feel like this thing with Bo-Katan is kind of a solution for them for this. But at the same time, I think it fits very well with the story because she saw the Mythosaur. So I think it also makes sense for the story, but it is a really good solution for all of that, I think. I'm not sure if they're like gonna use it for that and all, but if I think about it real fast, it makes sense to me. And also, I feel like in this episode, we're finally getting a full storyline again. It's kind of sad that we're only getting this in the fifth episode from like eight episodes uh, we get in this season. I feel like the first four episodes, not that they were wasted, like I had a lot of fun watching them, but for me it was just, they all felt like filler episodes. If you look at the first two episodes, I feel like they easily could have done that in one episode. The third episode, like honestly, I think the extra storyline was really interesting and I also think they're going to do more with that also because we saw her here again. Um, also, the idea that Moff Gideon is probably alive now also makes sense because maybe she's just still working for him then. I think that would explain a lot. So I feel like everything is kind of coming together now and there is like a storyline starting. Like I said, my only complaint is that that only happened in the fifth episode, you know? Like there's only three episodes left. So they really have to start doing something with that now and not give us episodes from like half an hour, but like at least 40 minutes to 45 minutes or something. Because otherwise I feel like we're not gonna get that much this season. But yeah, honestly, I'm really liking where this is going right now. So I'm really hoping for more of that. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. It had a lot of surprises to me, stuff I didn't expect. Like I said, the battle was cool. It was not too long, not too short. It was kind of perfect to me because I feel like we get a battle every episode and then the Mandalorians always win because that's kind of the thing. But then after that, we still got a lot of um, stuff going on that I didn't really see coming, like the stuff with Bo-Katan and then the stuff with the ship, you know? So yeah, I am looking forward to the rest. Oh my God, I just realized something because people were sharing pictures of it, but Zap was in this episode. 
uh, from Star Wars Rebels, I think. I have watched Star Wars Rebels when I was, I think, 15 or 16. I've only watched the first season though, because I think then only the first season was out or like the second season. That is so long ago that I didn't recognize him. But now that I see the picture, I'm like, oh my God, I've seen this guy in Star Wars Rebels indeed. And people are saying now, does this mean we'll get more people from Star Wars Rebels? Because we have, of course, seen some people from the Clone Wars. Back then, I had not watched anything from the Clone Wars. In the meantime, I have watched a bit of it. But now I'm sad I didn't recognize them because I have actually seen the first season of Star Wars Rebels. I honestly really hope they're gonna keep doing that. And I really need to refresh my mind because I just want to be able to recognize them while watching the episode and not realize after. But yeah, it's so cool that they keep doing that. I think that really makes this show, like what it is you know they have so many small things that they do in the show that just makes it so good also this episode was so good i am just totally back in my mandalorian phase and also my star wars phase with it you know it's just like i love star wars but like once there's a season of the mandalorian airing or like when the obi-wan series came out or stuff like that then i'm just totally back in my star wars face let me know what you guys thought about it like i said if you want to see my full reaction to this episode check out my patreon the link is in the description and did you like this reaction then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you next time bye